In the last video, you learned how to change a node element from a text view to a combo box and bind data from the SQL database of states to the combo box so that we can show a list of the state names, but at the same time changing the abbreviation or the state code up in the data set. So you might be thinking, well, why the heck would I need all of these fields here, really? I mean, if I can change it up in this area. Well, let's say you don't want to give people access to automatically changing stuff in the data set or the data grid view here. So if you didn't want to give them full on access to changing this information, make sure you select the data set or the data grid view here, then scroll down. And I believe you're looking for read only. Yes, read only and set read only from false to true. So now if we say save, We still see our data, but if I double click on it, it doesn't give me the ability to change. So I can say Valerie's and click off of it and it changes into Valerie's, but I can't double click and change it back. And I can't actually come up into here, or I can still use this bar, and I can get into this later. You can actually hide this bar as well. So you can say visible to non-visible. And that's the basics of enabling or disabling or basically read-only view. Continue with the next video.